Nectar out. Oh, oh, glory to God in the highest. How you guys doing out there? I hope you guys doing well. What's today? Today is, drum roll please. Wednesday. The 23rd. Guess what? Last week, I was a week ahead. So, you guys got to scratch that. So, I guess that means that last week's reading will be for this week. So, I guess there's nothing for last week. But this week, uh, last week's video applies to this week. So, that should have been the 27th. So, this Sunday, this coming Sunday, just apply it to, just put it like a pre-upload. Like, I should have done it, you know. I am like always in the 5D most of the time. So I'm way ahead of time and I'm way in the past. And then I'm in the present too. I'm always going like back, forward, still, like a hummingbird. You know, I'm moving all kind of ways. Anywho, how you guys doing? Rosalina wants to say hi. Say hi, Rosalina. Hi, everybody. Good day. All right. Hopefully that, that, that was funny. All right, Rosalina chilling, okay? So now look, Toffee's going to share her breakfast with you today. I got a lot of stuff in my mind. I always do. That's that Sebaku in my chart. Ooh, looky here. Got some fresh oranges, pineapples. Toffee mukbang today. Watermelon, banana. Yummy yum with some chia seeds on top. So, I don't know. I'm thinking about us doing breakfast together if you guys want. And I got me some vegan turkey bacon. And then I got me some fresh toast with some, um, what is that called? Nutritional yeast on there. Yes. So, and of course I have my coffee. Just had to let you guys know. Got my coffee. So, look at that. This morning I made myself... A little cup cover and what that is is that my comedic name or basically the ancient Egyptian name of the astrological signs in my chart okay this would be the ancient Egyptian translation and when you say this it connects you to the ancestors of ancient Egypt and their wisdom and their guidance those of beneficence that want to help humanity okay they've been good and bad in all nations and races and creeds and sexes, so, you know. This is my name that resonates with my chart. So it's Het Heru, Het Heru, Aset Heru, Userti Sebeku. Okay, Het Heru, Het Heru, Aset, Het, I'm sorry, Aset Heru, Userti Sebeku. That would be my name. So I'm calling out like my ka. I'm bringing my, my ka forth. You guys want that, you want to be able to do that for yourself, and you need help, well, you can go to kmsc.online, we can do a video chat, and I would be happy to help you with your name, okay? The arrangement is up to you, and how you would want to phrase your name, whatever flows comfortably for you. For me, I started from my first birth, which is nine months before I was actually placed in the uh, physical world, and then I followed the rest of the patterns on my chart. And then I used the deities or the faculties that represent those particular astrological signs or placements during the time I was born. Okay? That were the placements where they were. Okay? So this I do it in the flow of my beginning to my manifestation into Earth. So you guys want some help with that, you're welcome to go to my website, KMSC.online, and book. Okay? With me. Um, if the I'm not sure if the booking online... Uh, system works on my website, but if it doesn't, if you haven't heard from me in 24 hours and you tried to book online, then go ahead and uh, email me at selfmastery at kmsc dot uh, online. Km, I'm sorry, selfmastery at kmsc dot online. And if you um, would like to get your um, your name via video chat, we can do that. Or if you want it just via email and you want to give me. The thing is, I have to know your chart placements, and people are very, very, you know, personal about their chart placements, because I guess they think everybody wants to get them, but I don't think that's true. 
<laughs> I think people have things to do, like live their own life. But anyway, if you'd like to get help with me uh, assisting you in learning the comedic name using Madhu to like bring forth your divine purpose or speaking out your ka to the universe, which is letting them know that you're connected with your higher self, or you're at least aware of it, so that you can bring forth your soul contract, your soul purpose, you know, and the things that are tied to um, completing your soul contract in this earth realm. Contact me via email. I'll be happy to help you with that. The fee, the expense, I'm sorry, the cost of the service is actually on my services tab. So check the services tab and you'll see how much that is, which is very affordable. One of my least expensive services because it doesn't take me long. And it doesn't, it doesn't require too much emotional investment. That's why uh, some of the prices on my um, website are... Uh, on the high side because uh, if I have to do work like spiritual work for a family and it's going to affect my spiritual balance then of course I have to be compensated for that that means I'll be going to battle for you spiritually so this yeah you want to check out the services I offer help yourself and if you don't you can just come by and watch the videos and have fun with me so you guys I'm having my yummy food I hope you can see it oh yummy yummy Got my granddad there. Hi, granddaddy. I love my granddad. Got my auntie Flo here. You guys already know. And I got me a little grid going there at the bottom. We got some fresh water here. Got a fresh plant, some herbs, some herbs right there. And uh, I just had my um, candle burning, but it burned out. And then I had my incense. So I already did my fire and air. So now I just have earth and water here, okay? So, energy still flowing. The ancestors contacted me this morning, and um, I'm gonna try to leave it where you can see me, both me and the uh, the images here. This is from last week. This image here. If you guys want a copy of this, a JPG of this that came through last week, I'll be happy to send that to you. Uh, and this uh, this because um, it's past the date of when I uploaded. Um, this is for those that uh, decide to get a. Uh, get the service for getting their comedic name, getting their um, their ancient comedic name. And if you are not going to get your name, then uh, you just have to watch the video and then take a snapshot when you watch the video. But I'll send an actual copy of this to those that get the service because this is for those that want to study the... Um, this is like a, um, a filtering system and it's also an alignment system. Okay, Netter Wisdom is, is an alignment system, okay? It's almost like when you take your car or take your vehicle to the, to the uh, mechanic and they do certain things to align it, like you want to get a wheel alignment on it. Well, this is like a mind, but it's a mind, it's, a, it's really, um, it's a universal alignment, but then there's other adjustments that need to be made to the mind, body, and the spirit. So, you know what, you guys? I don't feel like eating right now. Something is telling me, I'm waiting for a phone call to you guys. Something's telling me to uh, go go to um, some, get some of these cards and uh, see what the ancestors got for us. Um, this morning, the ancestors had me singing. They had me singing Mary J. Blige, All I Really Want Is To Be Happy. They had me singing Erica Badu. Um, um, I think I don't know if it's called 360. I'm not sure, but it's oh on and on and on and on. My cycle keeps rolling like a rolling stone. On and on and on and on. I go on, on and on and on and on and on. My cycle keeps rolling like a rolling stone. On and on and on and on. I was born underwater with three dollars and six dimes. Oh, you may laugh, but you did not do your math. Ancestors, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. Aren't we having a full moon in Capricorn? They're here. I told you guys. They've been talking to me this, this morning. 
Okay, full moon in Capricorn. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, the end of a tough cycle approaches. So what I believe is that the divine, and the ancestors and the angels, they are trying to get us ready for, see there's the, our plan, there's the world's plan, and then there's God's plan, okay? God's plan is going to always win. The next plan is the world's plan, you know, because they have the power in this world. But then we have our own individual plans, and the question is, are we all aligning ourselves with the universal plan of God? So, God says that a t end of a tough cycle approaches, okay? We've gone through uh, a testing phase. We've gone through, a, we're going through still an upgrade and a clearing. The energy is gaining momentum. So this is um, this is what I see as like the firing gun when when people uh, like the uh, tracker the 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 uh, runners like in the Olympic runners when they start and the firing gun goes off. Waxing moon. In other words, the cycle is closing. Thank you, ancestors. I didn't even get to say a prayer. Let me say a really quick prayer. Bless you, Heavenly Father, Mother God, thank you, Master. Thank you for this day. It's a wonderful day. Thank you for my viewers. Thank you for all of those that are in the light. Thank you for those that are working to become the better version of themselves for the highest good of themselves, their families, their uh, their uh, neighborhoods, and their humanity, their community. Father, Mother God, I thank you for what you have done, what you will do, what you are doing inside of us and outside of us, what you have prepared for us in the future, and I ask you for the strength and hope that we all need to be in place to be embedded inside of us uh, let our angels assist us with that whatever recalibration we need in order to get in alignment with what it is that you have planned for us for our highest good I ask you to bring that into fruition now I thank you to, for being wonderful awesome amazing omnipresent omniscient altogether lovely, altogether powerful, and absolutely fabulous. We love you. We thank you. And I'm asking you to allow the ancestors of light, love, peace, divine wisdom in order to come through, as well as any angelics that would like to add to this reading for myself and the collective. I'm in and I'll say. Woo! That felt good! And of course, my family, you know you, my, those of the light, you already know you're welcome. I know my granddaddy's here. Auntie Flo, I know you're here. All right, you guys. Come on, y'all. Give me something. You still, I couldn't even eat my food. They want. They wanted to put some cards out here. Emotions are running high. Super moon. I don't know what that means. I guess they're saying that what happened with the super moons we've had this year. You know, we're all like revved up. Those super moons like to rev us up to get us ready for this new cycle. All right, I haven't even done the numbers for today. Anybody want to do the numbers today? What's the numbers today? Today is the 20 what? Third or 24th? Which one is it? My son's birthday is exactly one month from today. He was born on Ali Selassie's birthday of Ethiopia, the emperor that the Rastafarians um, see as uh, the, the uh, manifestation of uh, the Christ from the bloodline of uh, King David. Show the real, show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. See, we're approaching the Aquarius age, and as God is saying, hey, time to level up. Become the person you were called to be. Be who you are. Be who you're destined to be. Stop being afraid of what people think about you. Okay? So we got Aquarius and Capricorn here right now. The energy is gaining momentum. Emotions are running high. I hope that this resonates with someone. It definitely resonates with me. I'm going to pull out six cards. I don't know if today added to a six. Conclusions are within reach. So whatever it is that you're inquiring about, the conclusions are within reach. Okay? What does that say? Full moon eclipse. Look at that. We just had one of those, right? Like I said, cycles wrapping up. And the ancestors are present. Because they had me singing, a win-win outcast is a win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. Okay, so justice is coming for us. That's what God is saying. Prepare for the balance scales to be balanced. If any of uh, any of those those of us, including myself, that have been in uh, some form of injustice, have been dealing with some imbalanced situation. Yes, Sister Toffee, 
has a present challenge that's been going on for quite some time. And I have used my challenge to catapult my platform, or this platform, the Ancestors platform, to bring a healing to myself and others, because I know I'm not the only one, we're collective. And so we think we are clearing up our own karma, we're going through challenges on our own that is really personal, but it's really not. It's really collective. We really are all connected and we're going through similar things until we purge collectively as a human race the things that we have failed to align ourselves with as far as the divine plan. I'm talking about the, 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 the one race which is made of spirit, okay, the colors of the chakras. Not black, not white, not all this other stuff everybody wants to make a big deal out of, which is really a lower level of consciousness. Excuse me, you guys. Refill out. A lower level of consciousness, which the divine is tired of because we're supposed to be gods. We have to think with a universal mind, not an earthly mind. Happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I'm... <laughs> showing up. Woo! I got spirit on me. <laughs> I just saw a sign from the sweet Lord above. I know the answer is in front of me, but when you think you're in love, you only see what you want to see. And all I see is you for me and you for me. Oh, I cannot hide the way I feel inside. Change. What did I say? I'm done. Let me tell you something, you guys. Woo! The ancestors are showing up, honey. I don't know what y'all doing out there in spirit world, spirit land, tarot card readers, spiritualists. Pastors, preachers, Dalai Lamas, whoever. If you guys are not paying attention to the ancestors, they are coming through. They're letting us know. Woo, I got spirit on me. They are letting us know. We are in a dual universe. We really do transition into eternal life. We do not lose. We lose our consciousness as an earthly being, but we regain our consciousness as a universal being, and a universal being can see into earthly matters. I'm just telling you guys, change. Everything I just said, just what, what, what the card said, and I'm going quickly, you see this, right? I understand that nothing can grow, grow or evolve without movement. I'm telling you, they're getting us ready for something, I don't know what. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. <laughs> ah! Said I want to be, I want to be, I want to be happy. The ancestor said to me, when they first, the first songs they had me singing was the Erica Badu song. Oh my, 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 I'm feeling high, not high on weed, high in the universe. My money's gone, meaning they, I've lost. They see that certain people have lost. Woo, I feel spirit. Certain people have lost certain things that they deemed valuable at one time, whether it's a person, place, thing, job. You know, this pandemic has caused a lot of loss. My, 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 I'm feeling high, high in the universe. People have been forced to contact the divine because of the struggles they've been going through. Woo! Spirit is present. <laughs> Spirit is present, you guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much for showing up. Woo! They hear you guys. I feel it. Come on, give me a flyer, y'all. Y'all use what I got. Oh, they gave me two. Relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. What did I just say? Didn't I just say that the divine wants us to use from a, live from a universal mind? All of us. Because 
Even if we're on the planet, whether you're a governor, senator, president, doesn't matter. The universal mind is powerful. It can connect you to the creative force of life where all ideals stem from. Any idea you have had, it is God's idea that came through you. The creative is using you to create what it desires. Okay? This is why we need a universal mind. We need to stick with those that want to help us achieve that raw consciousness, that universal consciousness, you know, that kundalini rising. Okay? Whew! I am just flabbergasted right now. Loneliness, I know that I am never alone. See? Two, four, six, eight. Look at that. Intelligence. Infinite intelligence. The divine. I'm telling you guys. The ancestors are here. Look, the planet's here. These are the these these are angels or ancestors, right? They look like trees, right? Right? Don't they look like cosmic trees? They look that looks like a tree, right? Don't they look like trees? These are people, ancestors that have passed on. That are saying we are we are moving around the planet. Who I feel their presence so strong right now. They're like, yes, tell them. They're telling me like to tell you guys. Oh, I feel them so strong. They are like, yes, tell them. You see earth in the middle? They're letting us know. We are in the cosmic realm surrounding you. We are moving around the planet with you, trying to help you accomplish what needs to be done that the that Father, Mother, God, Master wants done on this planet. They're all around. The ancestors are making themselves known. They are not playing. They're like, enough of this not knowing who we are, knowing we're still around. The ancestors are like, look, we're here. You're not alone. There's no need to be lonely. Talk to us. If you don't want to talk to the ancestors, you can talk to the master. But the master does not want you to feel alone. He said you will know their love for their love. Uh, you will know them by their love for one another. We are meant to love. If you can't find many human beings to love, then love your ancestors that have already ascended. They've mastered human life. Did that, that felt like an orb. Did you see that? Did you guys see that? See that right there? That's like an ancestor. See that orb right there? Look at that. You see that light? Do you see that? That's like an ancestor. Do you see that? Do you see that moving around? That's like an ancestor right there. This is crazy. They work through light. That's what I'm telling you. That's I'm telling you, that's a being of intelligence. That's somebody showing up. I don't know who that is right there. And that green and black. I'm done. <laughs> They're here, you guys. I'm telling you. I know that I am never alone. Woo! Beautiful. And do you see they're all from all nationalities? You see that, right? I'm trying to tell you we have a universal family of humanity. All this race stuff and all that, this is like, this is the lower level. It continues to perpetuate this ignorance and foolishness that we are not interconnected. We are. We are from one source. Okay? But it's us. It's up to us to walk into the consciousness of a divine law to bring order. You see this? They look like a wheel. It doesn't look like just trees. They look like a wheel that wants to turn, right? But they all have to be in good condition for the spokes have the spokes have to support the wheel, right? That means the people need to be strong within mind, body, and spirit and the knowing of self. Self, which is what? Christ, the universal spirit of life, truth, and the way to, li to maintain life. Okay? All of the essence of divine expression okay a father mother god okay this is amazing this is amazing I'm, I'm i gotta sit down they like you ain't eat nothing stuff in your face what you're gonna do is talk <laughs> i love you guys all right let's get some psalms i hope you guys are doing okay you guys like my little binky baby my little baby bum here I'm getting older and I'm starting to feel like a little baby, but then I feel like a grandma too. But I start—I look like a little cute, little fat baby. <laughs> I'm a little cute, fat grandma baby. 
Hallelujah. Praise God. I love you, Lord, my strength. Psalm 18, 1. It is God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. Okay? That's Psalms 1832 and Psalms 181. So go to the Psalms and worship today. I'm sorry, I need one more card from this. Uh, I got five cards. I need one more card from this uh, This deck of soul. What is this called? Uh, soul Journey. I'll put it down in the description. I think it's Von Prague. One more, one more ancestors. No, I'll make it fly because I'm not taking what ain't flying. I trust y'all more than me. We got peace. We got peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Look at that Sri Yantra. I remember listening to a song by what the Sadguru, Sadguru was singing and I fell in love with it. And I know I know it still now. Peace. <laughs> Also, family, I do want you to know the Divine Feminine has been showing up. And this is from the Essence of the Cosmic Mother. Of course, the Mother Earth, Gaia. They don't like that the Divine Feminine has been abused for so long. And my next video is going to have to be about toxic masculinity. The destruction of our the destruction of our world. The cause of the destruction of our world. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust. Psalm 18.2. Give your burden to the Lord and he will take care of you. Psalm 55.22. That's 5, 5, and 22. Look up those angel numbers. That's the master showing himself. He's the spirit of life. He came in the body of a man, but he's not a man. People keep thinking Christ is a man. Christ is not a man. Christ is a consciousness and a light and a force. The life force. That You know, we got, uh, what is it called? It's called uh, quarks, hadrons. Uh, we got, what is it? The different forces that make up life. Let me ask Google. That she knows. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Okay, she doesn't want to do it now. Let's see if I can do it here. Hey, Google. What are the components of life? What are the forces? Weak force, strong force, and what? Here is some information for basic forces of nature. According to space.com, the four fundamental forces of nature, gravity, the weak force, electromagnetism, and the strong force. Okay. These four fundamental forces make up the spirit of life, which is Christ. Okay. All this is life. Okay. Everything came out of the spirit of life. So these energies of gravity, weak force, electromagnetism, strong force. It has to do with feminine energy and masculine energy, okay? Initiation and receptivity. It's still the Father, Mother, God energy. And together it makes the spirit of life, the Christ. I'm trying to tell you guys. Ooh, I feel spirit heavy right now. Woo! Oh, I feel the master. Thank you, master. Ooh, I just got hit. Oh, hold on. All right. Ooh, it's like they like you you hit the nail on the head. I want you guys to know my given name is not Toffee. You can use my given name if you are writing me a check. 
or if you know me personally, meaning like you've known me from my childhood, but I don't even want them to do that because I'm not that person anymore. I prefer to be talked, spoken to in reference as toffee. If that's not uh, feasible to you, then say this. Het heru, het heru, u set, u set, het heru, het heru, a set heru, u set sebeku. Say that. Okay, so hopefully toffee works for you guys. See, this is what I'm trying to explain to you guys. I am using the word, the word, take care, Capricorn energy. Okay? Where's that at? It's the first card that came out. I'm using Capricorn, the throat chakra. To speak and draw forward towards me the things that need to manifest or come to me to help me to finish my, my, my soul contract. Every time you speak your divine name, that's why they had those names in ancient Egypt. The names were to invoke a power, okay? A lot to summon a life force, to summon what it is you need to become the God within self, okay? To amp up your Neteru powers, to call forth the angelics and the ancestors that can assist you in accomplishing your soul contract. Let's see what else we got. Come on, ancestors. Give me another one more psalm, and then we'll go with the other cards. We'll get some nature cards. All right. I hope you guys are doing good on this Wednesday. Wednesday represents Sebek, so definitely intelligence is present. That has to do with Gemini. Shout out to all the Geminis. Happy birthday to them. I will lift up my heels from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord. Psalm 121, verses 1 through 2. That's 2 and 1. So that's... uh. The uh, all-seer energy and also Tehuti, divine wisdom, Aquarian energy. That takes us right back here. The, the, the crown chakra and the third eye, this is all Aquarian here. Okay, air energy, the mind, all up in that mental. Okay, we are moving into the Aquarius age, and it's time for us to live from a higher level of consciousness. This old, low-level animal thinking is not going to work. Divine is not having it. The divine is not having it. They're not having it. They're like, look, we are not going to keep this place going or even your bodies if you don't fall in line. You cannot expect for us to support your will. It's my will, God says, not yours, mine. That's what the Father says. The Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No thing, no good thing will he, will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. 84, uh, Psalms 84, 11. I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken, for he is right beside me. Psalm 16, 8. And that's falling under relationships. So you can know that you're protected. Just choose wisely. And use the Aquarian energy to determine whether or not you're dealing with someone of righteous character or not. And then it says, for happiness, I love you, Lord, oh my strength. So in other words, to be happy, love on the Lord, and you'll keep your strength and your joy. Okay? Meaning basically loving the Lord is loving the will of God. The end of a tough cycle approaches. The more it says, I will keep those in perfect peace that whose mind are stated on me. That's the, that's the, uh, the Christed. Uh, way of, of, of thinking meaning you think on life all the time not death to this you know choose this day whom you will serve you know I set before you life and death you know life and death are in the power of the tongue there we go again with Capricorn Sakir. what are you going to speak into existence call those things that are not as though they are you know and the best way and the easiest way to do that by default is to stay in joy and how do you do that let, let the Lord, the law, the will of God be your strength. Spears 4 and 5. I waited patiently, which is Herakuti and Ma'at. I waited patiently for the Lord who returned to me and, I, and heard my cry. You know, talking about the law. Lord and the law, same thing. You have to wait. When you are recalibrating yourself to the divine will, you have to wait and be patient. Kind of like put yourself on lockdown. Incarcerate yourself. Okay, quarantine yourself from all the evil wickedry you were doing. If you want to make this change, that's what you got to do. You got to lock down and isolate yourself, okay? Like as if you had a cold. 
Just say your spirit has a cold. You need to stay away from people because you're contagious, okay? Or they're contagious. That's how it goes. Because you can catch them with what they have. See, the thing is, when you're around people, you can catch what they have. So separation is necessary. People may say, oh, you think you're whatever. You think, doesn't matter if you please them or not. People are always going to always talk. They're always going to have something to say. And they're always going to have something to point at and say, uh, well, they didn't do this or they didn't. They're never going to be satisfied. So get used to people not liking you. Because they're going to find something. That's, that's the way most people are. The Lord is like a father to his children, tender and compassionate to those who fear him. 103.13, Psalms 103.13. Isn't that wonderful? The Heavenly Father is amazing. I'm, he's my father. You know, I didn't, get, I didn't get to have my biological father in my life because my mother said he was not a healthy person. I, I have no way of knowing if that's the truth because my grandmother said that he wanted us. So that's a conundrum I'll forever have. Maybe I'll find out when I transition. But I didn't get to have my father in my life, so I don't know what it's like to have an earthly father. I do know what it was like to experience my grandfather, who was amazing, and I love him so much. Oh, my God. Um, you know, my mom had an amazing dad and mom, so, you know, no wonder she became the strong woman that she became. Anyway, the Lord is like a father to his children, tender and compassionate to those who fear him. Psalm 103, 13. So, love on the, the, the father. The father is the strong force, okay? The mother is the weak force, okay? Or the receptivity. That's what they were just saying about the gravity. The gravity itself in between, the gravity was strong force, weak force, which is Father, Mother, God. Gravity and, I forgot what it said was. Gravity and what else? I think gravity would be, um, Gravity and electromagnetism, I believe that that is the Christ energy. I think gra no, gravity, gravity I think is um, also, gravity I think is a feminine energy and I think electromagnetism is the male energy. I'm not quite sure. Only spirit knows. But these are the four fundamental forces of nature. Okay? And I believe that these, these four represent the Christed energy. Okay? That's what I believe. And that all four are aspects of the divine Godhead, Father, Mother, God. And combined, they make the spirit of life, Christ. Okay? The, the Lord is like a father to his children, tender and compassionate to those who fear him. Psalm 103, verse 13. So there's one and three twice, and then there's a zero. So that takes me to Osir, which is the Aquarian energy, of course, the crown chakra. And three, again, the throat chakra, Capricorn, okay? Same energy right here, Aquarius, sphere one. Aquarius and Capricorn, again. Right? You guys that have the chart that you that have downloaded the chart at KMSC.online on the bottom of the first page, the home page, the Netra correlation chart. 103, Psalm 103. See? They've got those two ones and that those two threes. Right? 103, 13. There's two threes and two and one and two ones and that zero, which takes us back to God, source, right? Amen. That portal. So, again, they are focusing us on the Aquarian energy of self-mastery, Usair, or all seer, and speaking the word of truth, divine word, calling on the Father, praying to the Father, delighting, singing, joy. That's what I believe. They are, we're being called to prayer, to singing and being joyful, and also speaking to our ancestors. They're right in the center. They're right in the center. This is beautiful. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, take... Let me see if I can take a picture and then upload this so you guys can see it. I don't know. Um, one more song. Wait a minute. Where did these come from? Oh, those are right here. Wait one second, you guys. So I hope you're enjoying. I'm missing out on my breakfast and stuff. I love y'all. <laughs> y'all got me missing out on my breakfast. That means I love y'all. Yeah. La tita. 
I'm hearing some Bob Marley right now. Don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing gonna be alright. Singing don't worry about a thing. Because every little thing gonna be alright. Woke up this morning, smile with the rising sun. Three little birds beside my doorstep. Singing sweet songs, a melody pure and true. This is my message to you. Okay, family, I'm going to show you what I got. They gave us, I will instruct and teach you in the way you should go. Psalm 32, verse 8. And also, oh Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Psalms 8, 1. Okay? That takes us back to a Gemini energy. Okay, sphere 8 is uh, under Gemini. Are we still in Gemini? I believe so until the 21st. Is that right? We're still in the Gemini Deacon, I think. I'm not quite sure. Are we in the Cancer Deacon? I don't know, you guys. You guys know I'm like a super weirdo genius, super scientist, super connected to the ancestors, super like out of this world, need to get grounded in 3D, like really tripping, you know, nano nano, work from work, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go, Psalm 32, 8. Basically, this is like spirit saying, however you see God, you communicate with him and the divine source that created you will guide your path, okay? In other words, stay inside. Listen inside, not outside. Listen to the inside world. How, oh Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth? So we're being called to listen to inner guidance. That's why this separation has happened because, see, so many people have covert operations going on, either known to them or unbeknownst to them because we, oh, we do deal with forces and beings that use us, okay, to go against the divine plan, okay? And they do manifest as human beings. They manifest as forms of consciousness or entities or what have you, okay? Just like a business, a corporation is an entity. A corporation is an entity. It's a living thing, right? It has power, has weight, you know, has ability to do things. We open it up to judgment reversed. I don't know what this is. We're using the rider weight here. This is, I think, is this, what is this? Three, six, nine, ten, ten. That's ten of pentacles. All right. The ten of pentacles is upright, but judgment is in the reverse. So I don't know what that's about. Hallelujah. How you doing? Hallelujah. All right. Sadness in reverse. Judgment is upright on now. Oh, the Lord got a mighty rain. That's what God wants. No more sadness. That's the judgment. No more sadness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, the Lord got a mighty rain. God, like, what you doing? What you doing, boy? Amen. Ooh, I feel spirit right now. Chariot, time to move forward. They talking to me, you guys. I don't know about you. Hallelujah. See, that took it up to the next level. Oh, don't get it twisted, you guys. I love. There's some music I love, secular music. There's some... Secular music that just makes me want to throw up, even though I loved it way long ago. Page of Wands, what are you passionate about? It's time to move forward with that passion. For the Lord got a mighty reigns. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Lord got a mighty reigns. 
to the world. <laughs> oh, I told you. Did I tell you guys they're trying to bring us into the new? Oh, I got spirit on me right now. Nectar, ah, uh ah. -uh. Glory to God in the highest. You guys know earth is a, earthly life is a game, right? No more sadness. The world, they're talking, man, look. They, it's time for us, for a cycle of happiness. <laughs> I don't know who's resonating with this message, but I hope, I hope somebody other than me is feeling it. Oh, shout unto God with joy in all the earth. Come together and sing with gladness and with praise. That's Helen Baylor. Whoa, got a flying on my, my cheese toast. Knight of Swords. I don't know what that means. Maybe somebody's coming in with some drama. You're going to have to check that at the door. Check that at the door, family. You know what to do. You got the angel with you. Not a problem. Got something flying. That's what I take. Flyers. Did you ever know you were my hero? Two of Wands. Time to move forward. The world is waiting. What this? They, they keep talking. And everything I would like to be. Ancestors said they're proud of many of you. Those of you that have been doing the work. They're trying to get you to break ancestral patterns and family quote-unquote curses iniquities I can fly higher than an eagle wow a whole big old floppy section oh you are the wind beneath my wings well my goodness Nine of Cups, right? Self-fulfillment. The Page of Swords is what? You guys know what the Page of Swords is? Somebody that's about to take it. Look like He looks like a batter to me. So it looks like we have to go forward again. They keep saying the same thing. What did they say? A win-win forecast. That's the justice scales again. Didn't judgment just show up? Libra. Libra is justice. And it represents earthly life because it's actually uh, opposite Taurus on the sidereal calendar. So it reflects earthly life. It's about bringing justice in the earth realm, okay? Justice is coming for those of us that have been in a cycle of, uh, I don't know, not so pleasant experiences. Justice is coming. Okay. When when for outcast is forecast. When when outcome is forecast. Okay. So what I, what I'm saying to me is, the divine wants us to do our very best to try to be as reasonable as we possibly can. There's this type of rope walk we have to do with compassion and execute and allowing ju the divine judgment of God to be executed on those that are not willing to submit to divine will. Okay, the judgment is not ours to give. We're supposed to still hold a place of compassion, although we have been wronged. Our work is to remain compassionate. Okay? Regardless to what the divine chooses to do. Not weak or ignorant, I said compassionate, but not to the point where you'll be harmed. In other words, you are not going to project harm to them. You project healing and desire for them to... You just send them healing energy. You send them love and light. You send them peace. And the wish that they will resolve whatever issues they have. That's it. You don't have to invest energy. You don't have to sit there worrying about them. You don't have to, you, you, if you've done what you can do. You are to release them. But don't hate them, is, is what I'm saying.
okay? The master said he wishes that none would perish, okay? So in other words, if we can stay balanced that way and stay in joy, focus on joy and it'll be easy, much easier to send them love and light. Or just release them with good, good energy, basically. So you can have that, the Ten of, ten of Pentacles, self-fulfillment, okay? So the divine is saying, I want to give you self-fulfillment. I want to give you a new start. But I need you to prepare yourself. Let me shut this up. Shut these blinds, you guys. So I got some real stupid people behind me. They like to like be nosy and figure try to figure out what I'm doing. Really irritating people. So sorry about that, you guys. Okay, it's a little darker in here, but don't mind that. Okay. Let's do some more. We got about three more cards. I don't know why I'm doing six. If, if today adds up to a six, I'm going to flip out. Thank you, ancestors, spirit guides, angels of the highest order, of divine will and law and love. Those that follow the spirit of life and the master, not those that wish to harm. Dang, I got a lot of them. Man, they just came flipping out. They just went crazy on me. Okay. Man, all of these cards, seriously? Let's see what's on the bottom. Temperance. We got temperance at the bottom. So, Divine is saying we're going to have to stay calm and collected through this process. We got the hangman in reverse. It's time to come up out of our comfort zone. You guys, hold on one second, okay? I'm going to have to come back. I'll be back, okay?
We're gonna get his. Mm-hmm. Beeson. Mm-hmm. Beeson. Like beat. Not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm praying. Yes, sir. Yep. Yep. Yes, sir. That is correct. Great. 